A parasite is defined as an organism that lives on or in an organism of another species called the host from the body which it obtains nutrients. Parasitic architecture allows the creation of flexible structure that fades up the existing infrastructure, offering solid answer to the problem of structural density of cities and the need of tempering of accommodation. Parasites cannot sustain their own existence without seeking energy from the surface of the host building. The function of the parasite is to exploit its host. It must reach and take advantage in order for it to survive. In doing so, it offers a transformation that currently has no part place in the existing system. Not only giving what can be a visual appealing structure, but can also provide more space and comfort to a structure that may be in need of these aspects. Parasite forms can take over in active spaces, allowing for more inheritance within areas without becoming increasingly overcrowded. Parasitic architecture allows rooms taken from the public spaces in areas that generally noticed. Our concept in the design is based on the creature Simothoa exigua, or the tongue-eating louse. The parasite has the ability to enter the fish through its gills and then attach itself onto its tongue. Basically, it is a crustacean that lives in the mouth holes of the fish, only to consume their tongue and then replace it with themselves, a process that is unpleasant for the host. In the concept, we have taken the idea on how the parasite consume a fish's tongue and then replace it with themselves. But somehow, the parasite acts like a prosthetic and continues to function as a normal tongue. The this follows the fish to go go to about its normal bio biological functions like feeding. It is a relationship where, on ani where one animal assumes the position and role of another's body part. The idea is then applied to an existing structure, for example, XM coli. We have taken the annex that connects the two main buildings together, removing the middle part of the annex and then replacing it with a new one residential house. This house acts as like the tongue-eating louse, while the whole annex acts as the tongue and then the two main buildings act like the fish. The one-man one residential structure becomes a prosthetic of the annex. Not only does it serve as a place of living and comfort for a person, but it serves as a connection between the two main buildings of SM, allowing one to be able to, to still go shopping and cross between buildings. Parasitic architecture is becoming more prevalent and as an aspired in the future as our society continues to, to increase its population and urban landscape becomes denser. The need for this concept is becoming stronger as it looks to fulfill in external spaces in early established build forms. What do you mean?